What's up, YouTube? This is your girl, Comedic Medium Prophetess, and I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, I am a prophetic tarot reader. I do not read cards based off the meanings. I read cards based off what spirit tells me, the holy angels and the divine. I am also a psychic medium. I am able to connect with those who may have crossed over. Um, I also come on here where I talk about the end times, the government, love, life, relationships, whatever God puts on my heart, mind, body, and soul. And I'm going to do a quick reading for Aries. Aries, when I attempted to do your reading, um, it cut off, but I already had some cards that came out the angel number 444 could be significant we have narc run we have i drive by your house i pulled out you're gifted i pulled out you're my king we have divine feminine we have high level soulmate we have stuck or stagnant we have royalty you could be dealing with a scorpio somebody can stay in the state of north carolina you could be dealing with an Aries, an Aries dealing with an Aries. Somebody is evil. You could be dealing with a twin flame or a false twin flame. We have a trickster here. Highway. Somebody could be a drug addict. It says I'm still stuck in the 3D. We have marriage. Angel number 999 could be significant. Evil twice. So somebody is evil. Karmic feminine, karmic masculine. This could be an X or somebody name can start with the X. Xavier. We have something happened in the winter time. I'm heavy on drugs. You could be an empress, this divine feminine. We have threesome. Somebody could have had a threesome or you've been put in a third party situation. We have ancestors, good karma, and this karma ain't no joke. So, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, I'm going to shuffle these cards for Aries. Let's see what comes out. Let's tell me more about for Aries. And I also have small children, so sometimes I have to stop and tend to my children, and I'll get right back to the reading if you're new to my channel. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me about marriage, please. Tell me about marriage for Aries. Yeah, I feel like somebody put you in a third-party situation. Somebody could have went off and married somebody else because they thought that the grass was greener on the other side I'm here. So somebody definitely could have went off and married somebody else or you could have married somebody else. I'm also seeing that you could have moved on from somebody that messed up, somebody that you were like sick and tired of, somebody you didn't want to deal with, somebody know that they somebody that knows that they messed up, somebody that knows that they lost you. So you could have been in a committed relationship Aries for years or something like that or months or days, hell, I don't know. Some type of long-term commitment. These could have even been a partnership, but I'm heavily seeing marriage. So somebody you could have been married to someone and they could have cheated on you with a mistress or you could have went off and married somebody or somebody left you and got married to somebody new. Whoever this person is, they're stuck in the 3D. Tell me more about this spirit. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, thank you, spirit. Confirmation. So I feel like you could have been married to somebody, Aries, who put you in a third-party situation. This doesn't even necessarily have to be a lover that they left you for. This could just this could have been drugs because you could have had a family with this person because it says I'm stuck in the 3D. I feel like you're somebody that's 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 on a high frequency frequency you're somebody that's very high vibrational whoever this person is this person could be very low vibrational this person is also stuck in the 3d and they're also on drugs so somebody could be um somebody could have been into been in a car wreck because it says highway so somebody could have been intoxicated under under the influence of drugs or alcohol and they could have had some type of car wreck i'm hearing early may last may this could be a last may 21 2021 may or this could be may of this year somebody had a car wreck somebody could be uh on life support or this is something that's going to happen in the future somebody is having to pay some type of court fees or some type of legal fees i'm seeing yeah if this is not somebody that you've been married to for a long time this could be this could be somebody that your person is tied to because it says trickster. Trickster. Somebody could have tricked somebody to believe that they were stable they were normal but really in reality they're stuck in the 3d and they're a drug addict I'm also saying if this person is not going to get into some type of car wreck, this person could be facing some type of jail time for like uh, traffic tickets. Yeah, this person backstabbed and betrayed you. I'm also seeing whoever this person could have left you for, but I'm not really necessarily seeing. I don't think whoever I'm picking up on, I don't think nobody necessarily left nobody for nobody. I feel like somebody is on heavy drugs here. I'm hearing heroin. 
I'm actually seeing a Caucasian couple. So you're so this could be a twin flame of yours or a false twin flame. This could be this is somebody, if this is a false twin flame, this is somebody that's very evil. Or if this is your twin flame, this is somebody that does not want to do the work. Yeah, this this is somebody that's stuck in the 3d i'm also seeing somebody could be heavily on drugs i feel like yeah if this is a twin flame because it may not be a false twin i'm seeing if this is a twin flame this is somebody that did not want to do the work this is somebody that wanted to stay stuck off in the 3d this is somebody that wanted to be evil low vibrational this person could be the runner you could be the chaser but you could have already separated from this person because this person stabbed you in the back you could have also had a family with this person you could have also had children with this person you may have also had the little you may have lost uh finances trying to help this person in their drug addiction their drinking problem i mean this person may drink and smoke every Every day they don't know when to stop they're an addict and you got tired of dealing with that this person does not want to do the work this person is low vibrational and they're stuck in the 3d i'm also seeing that you're somebody that's royalty you may have a royal bloodline and you may have discovered that over the course of time after being in a relationship with this person i'm seeing that you actually could have lived with this person i feel that you wanted to go on to a high level soulmate you're tired of dealing with this twin or this false twin because they don't want to have a family life they don't want i'm here they're not supporting their children they don't want to support their children. They don't want to be responsible. They lack accountability. Accountability. They don't want to be accountable. Yeah, you're wanting to go to somebody. You could be dealing with a high level soulmate, and you see this person as your king or queen. Take it how it resonates, male or female. Yeah, you're tired of this past person trying to keep you stuck and stagnant. I'm also seeing that you're tired of this person being on drugs. I'm seeing opiates. I'm seeing heroin. I'm seeing somebody like snort cocaine in the car. So somebody could have got into a car wreck after they hit a line of coke or something like that yeah and this person could have gotten you could have gotten arrested i feel like you may have already tried to help this person i feel like i'm heavily feeling like this is some type of twin flame the mind masculine maybe does not have to be or this could just be a ex somebody that really really messed up somebody that you're sick and tired of this person could be a aries like this so you, you guys could be the same sign you could stay in the state of north carolina angel number 999 could be significant you may need to look that up or you may have been seeing that number i'm seeing you may have seen 999 on a microwave or something spirit is saying pay attention to that you also could be dealing with a scorpio a water sign um but i'm what i'm seeing is um aries is that you're someone that's very gifted very gifted very intelligent um you could have tried to like teach this person new things i'm hearing you can't teach an old dog new tricks or something like that you could actually have a dog i'm seeing like a golden retriever you could have a pit bull you can have a uh a, a blue healer or you can have like different animals in your house. I'm seeing like a trailer park. So I feel like I'm talking to a Caucasian couple. I'm not trying to be offensive if you stay in a trailer park. But I'm hearing that song off of 8 Mile. I live at home in a trailer. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Well, no, 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 no. I don't know the song. So you can live in a trailer or something like that. I feel like this could be an older male by the name of Bob Bill. Something with a B, Bob Bill your name could be brandy i'm seeing but you like sick and tired of this this is your divine masculine your twin flame you're your soulmate but i mean this could be a soulmate a twin flame a false twin but i'm not heavily seeing false twin i'm seeing that this i'm highly thinking that this is a twin that did not want to do the work so you could have moved on i'm hearing that you may have stayed up you may have stayed in a trailer park or something like this with this this, this masculine and you can't do it no more because I feel like you may have spent years with this masculine. This masculine may have kept you stuck, kept you stagnant. You're somebody that has done the work. So you could have been a drug addict in the past with this person. You could have did some type of drugs with this person. But you, you, I'm hearing AA, you've recovered. You, you got some type of, you got some type of, uh, AA meeting, you went to some type of drug pro rehab program. You moved on to a king. Yeah. Yeah. You moved on to a king. Somebody that you're very much in love with. Yeah. Yeah, you're very abundant. You're manifesting. You're happy. You, yeah, you're not. You're, you, you're, you're happy. You're not stuck dealing with this toxic situation anymore. This person may have juggled you, but I don't feel like this masculine juggled you. I feel like you were tired of being a fool. Tired of pretending like, because you may have tried to pretend like, 
you were happy to friends and family, but your friends and family was like, nah, we know you're not happy. I'm hearing the name Brandy, Bob, and Bill. So somebody named could start with the B. But what I'm seeing is, is that you're, you were tired of being stuck. You could have been with this person for years. I feel like you, I feel like I'm talking to an older white couple. Hold on, y'all. I see a message. Yeah, I feel like I'm talking to maybe an older white couple or something because I'm seeing like a trailer home and I'm not trying to be offensive if I'm offending anybody. But what I'm seeing is that you could have been with this person for years. Your children could be adult children. Yeah, like you, 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 you're tired of this this man or this woman choosing people and things over you but i feel like this man may choose family over you over you but what i'm really hearing is the drink the drink because i don't know why i'm seeing miss doubtfire in my head and y'all know in the kitchen on miss doubtfire uh the uh uh the wife asked uh miss doubtfire aka uh i forgot his name i love him that he one of my favorite actors rest his soul i can't think of his name it'll come to me later but she asked him, she was like, she asked Miss Doubtfire, she was like, so why did you and your husband break up? What happened to your husband? What happened to him? And, he, and she was like, it was the drink. So I feel like this husband, if this husband of yours is masculine, if they're not like a, a, a dope thing, drug addict, heroin addict, whatever, they may be like an alcoholic or something like that. Yeah, they also dealing with karma. They're wrapped up in the justice system. I feel like... This so this this yeah this masculine could have went a, went to jail because I'm seeing somebody like snort a line a coke they could have drunk something they could have got a DUI so this masculine could have several DUIs or something like that you're tired of dealing with this masculine you've moved on to a high level soulmate I'm hearing that I've moved out the house so you could have packed your things up you've moved on to this king of cups somebody that you see that they're they're, they're your king you're somebody that's of royal blood or something like that you could be seeing the angel number four 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 this could have happened in the winter time or this is gonna happen in the winter time so this could be past past our present energy but this person is definitely your ex this is um this is a karmic feminine or a karmic masculine. So this could be a false twin, like I said, or this could be a twin, or this is a, a karmic soulmate. I don't know. Just take it how it resonates. But what I'm seeing is that what I'm seeing is that this person does not want to move forward. This person does not want to be your ex. This person has been tied to you, has been married to you for years, but they're evil. They're evil as hell. They know that you're the divine feminine, but they're like, thank you, spirit. They're a narcissist. This is, I, I feel like you, you're tired. You're tired of living a lie. You're tired of not being happy. You want to be in love. You want to be cared for. So I feel like this is why you've moved on to this king of cups or this is something that you're going to do this high level soulmate yeah and whoever this ex is is i feel like this is a husband this is somebody that you were married to that was maybe a drug addict or alcoholic that that you could have i'm here in high school so you could have been knowing this i'm here in 1970s you could have been you could have you so you and this spouse because i feel like i'm talking to an older white couple you could have been married to this person since like after high school so you guys could have went to college i'm here in Somebody went to somebody went to college on a baseball scholarship. I'm here in Nebraska, North Carolina, maybe, because I did pull that out. But I'm seeing somebody could have had a scholarship uh, to play baseball. So I feel like whoever this masculine is, this masculine was really handsome. I'm hearing well groomed, um, tall, dark, and handsome, a beautiful guy, a great, a nice looking guy, handsome. But I feel that over the time you were, you were very much in, in love with this masculine. I feel like I'm talking to an older white couple. You were very much in love with this masculine, but you're ready to move on. You're ready to be happy because I feel like at first when you guys were younger, cause I'm here in 1972, 1975, you could have met this masculine in high school. You guys could have went to college around that time. What I'm seeing is that you were very much in love with this masculine. But over the years, this masculine developed some type of mental issues that made him turn into a narc. And I'm, I'm hearing that it could have been the drinking and the drugs. And I feel like this masculine could have gotten on drugs and alcohol because... I feel like they may have went to college on a baseball scholarship or something like that, and they end up getting hurt. They may have tore their ACL, I'm hearing, or something like that. They could have gotten injured, or they could have gotten hurt. And I feel like even though they had a backup plan, so they also could have been going to school to be like an engineer or something like that or some type of tech 
something like that that's dealing with computers engineering i don't know but this 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 masculine that wasn't their dream job. Their dream job was to be a professional baseball player. I don't know who the hell I'm picking up on. Y'all, I'll be telling y'all my downloads is out of there. But their dream was to be a professional baseball player and marry you, their divine feminine, and have children and live ever, happily ever after. So I feel like this masculine is a great b provider. They were a great husband, but over the years, the drinking and the drugs turned them evil. The drinking and the drugs turned them into a fucking narcissist. And you're, you're, you're like, I'm tired. I can't, I'm here and I can't do this anymore, Bob. I can't do this anymore, Bill. I'm hearing that you're tired. You're like, look. I want to go to, I've met another great guy because I'm here and I met a great guy. So you could have met another guy named Bill or Bob. I don't know. You could have met, I don't know. I don't know the name. Just take it how it resonates. You've met a king of cups who you look very, you see in high honor. You feel like this is your king. This is a high level soulmate. Whoever this, 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 this masculine that you were married to for years, I'm hearing since the seventies because I'm seeing my girl in my head. If y'all, if y'all are those, if y'all are familiar with that movie. I'm hearing this masculine was fine as hell. I'm hearing, I'm seeing like a masculine in the 70s, a white male with curly hair, kind of put you in the mind. Whoever this masculine is, he was gorgeous. I'm hearing that this masculine kind of looked like, what's the name off the Brady Bunch? I forgot his name. Something. I forgot that man's name, but he was so handsome. Not the daddy. It was one of the popular guys that were very handsome. That's how this man looked. He was extremely handsome. You fell head over heels in love with him. I'm seeing the 70s because I'm hearing that song by, uh, baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. I was wrong and everything about you. Baby, come back. Yeah, this masculine knows that they messed up. It says this karma ain't no joke. This masculine knows that they're going through karma because, but I don't feel like this masculine could have cheated on you. I feel like this masculine has a drinking, a drug problem. This is a really a good guy. Yeah. I feel like since you've moved on, you've become this queen of pentacles. You've glowed up. You've elevated because I feel like when you were with this masculine, you guys maybe not may have not been able to pay the bills. You may have not been able to keep afloat. You you guys may have already always had financial problems. I mean, you you guys maybe even struggled to feed the kids. But I feel like your children are very successful. Your children have went on and become doctors, lawyers. Maybe your children have went on and do great things, but. It's just like your children and you had to struggle over the years. And I feel like you didn't let them go. You held on to this relationship for so many years because you seen, you still seen that image of this guy in college or high school that was so gorgeous. I'm hearing whoever this is, this guy looked like the guy, the, the man off a of Brady Bunch. I can't think of that man's name, but that man was a good looking man back in the seventies, man. He's still a nice looking guy. I'm hearing this man was so fine. This white male, cause I'm seeing a fine white male, this male was so fine he probably even favored Richard Gere off a of pretty woman that I know Richard Gere is that his name because that was a good looking man I'm seeing that you your mind was stuck there for so many years but I feel like this masculine may deteriorate it over the years their health their teeth it's just like you were tired you I feel like you I feel like the only reason why you're this divine feminine the only reason why you stayed in this situation is for the kids, to get the kids through college, to get, you know, to, 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 to keep the family close. And you know what? I want to commend you for that. Let me just say something, and I'm not trying to down my race. I'm not trying to down my race. So if you black and you watch this, I'm not trying to offend you. But you know what? To black men out there, it's a song by Johnny Taylor. And it says, it's cheaper to keep up. Sometimes you might not want to stay, but can you just stay a little bit more longer for the kids? At least so the kids get up in high school or out of high school. It's cheaper to keep up. And, you know, it's an old video. I can't think of the two people that did it in the 70s. And the woman, she asked the man, she said, can you fake it with me? Can you fake it how you do the uh the people at work so black man can you do that when you when you go and you create babies and stuff with women and you don't really want to be with them can you just stay a little longer just a little bit or come to some type of agreement and work it out because i commend whoever this is even though this man is an alcoholic or a drug addict and this divine feminine don't want to be with this man she held on and stayed down for the kids at least till the kids got grown and let me say who whatever white couple i'm talking to older white couple you guys have done a, a 
a hell of a job. You may have struggled financially. You may not be able to put food on the table or anything like that with your kids because the dad, you know, you may have. So this father figure could have also abused you. I'm sorry to hear that. So you could have been, you and your children could have went through yeah, this King of Wands. Yeah, they could have. I feel like this is a great guy, but I feel like they've lost their way because I feel like whoever this King of Wands is, they wanted to become a professional baseball player, but they got hurt. That's what I'm that's what I'm hearing. Yeah, you're going through good karma. Yeah, your ancestors are very much protecting you. Yeah, I feel like you're you you've moved removed yourself from the situation. I'm seeing a divine feminine that stayed with her husband who was abusive crazy got on drugs and, and, and alcohol because they didn't get to be a professional baseball player I see, i'm seeing that this masculine did go to work but when they did when they got paid they spent all their money on drugs and alcohol you and the kids had to suffer for years this was a definitely a marriage yeah but i feel like this masculine did not sleep with anybody they they may have so you may they may have been a few women that this masculine may have cheated on over the course of time over the years but it was just like flings i feel like this masculine heart has always been with you your name could be elizabeth i'm hearing jessica i'm hearing yeah but the third party situation for this situation is is that this masculine had a drug and a drinking problem yeah you're this masculine's empress you are their true empress but this this empress you've you you've tired you're like look i gotta go on to a high level soulmate bob i'm hearing bob or bill you're like i gotta go on to a high level soulmate because i can somebody that i see in high honor somebody that's gonna take care of me now i've taken care of the kids so you could have up to three kids you could have a boy two boys and a girl that are gone gone on they've graduated college they're successful doctors lawyers yeah this dad is on heavy drugs and i feel like this dad is not gonna stop doing drugs yeah not stop being fucking abusive with this king of swords not stop being fucking abusive this is a death to the situation if this masculine does not get off the of heavy drugs and stop using drugs and i'm hearing that this masculine could be driving past your house they're stalking you and this new man yeah they're driving past your house i feel like if this masculine does not get their shit together they're gonna die of an overdose and i feel like this breaking your it's breaking your heart because i feel like your name could be elizabeth jessica sarah i don't know but i'm hearing it's breaking your heart and you're like look i can't do this anymore bob bill i don't know no, you're just like you're not the same guy i met in college or high school i feel like it's breaking your heart because you love this if y'all hear screaming that's my daughter in the background they're talking to the tv but i feel yeah you're tired of fighting and arguing with this person you're tired of going through fucking tower moments i feel like they may not want to give you a the divorce you're asking for a divorce yeah yeah, you've moved on to somebody better, to your two of cups. you like, I'm tired of being in this hangman energy. Just please stop trying to come towards me with, your, with this offer. I feel like you could be dealing with a lot of uh, uh, family members that's trying to keep you by guys together. People that's trying to work to keep your family afloat together. But you're like, look, the kids have graduated. The kids are in college. The kids have moved on. I can't do this anymore. I stayed for the children. I fell out of love with you years ago, and I'm tired. I, I just can't do with this anymore. I'm more abundant now. I'm more happy that i'm not having to deal with this jealous i mean this devil of energy this you you've turned into a narc a drug addict an alcoholic i'm gonna keep my guard up i'm gonna keep my guard up and this masculine is frustrated this masculine is frustrated because they know that they've chose they've chose drugs alcohol they've had several flings and shit and stuff over the years and and, and this this masculine this masculine needs counseling. This masculine is, is going to need therapy. They're hurt and they're heartbroken because I feel like this masculine had a really good childhood. They had two great parents or if they, they didn't have the, if they didn't have the best childhood, somebody parents could have been murdered or something, or this could be a dead. I don't know. Somebody could be deceased in this situation, but what I'm hearing living or not, Whoever this masculine is, this is not, you're this empress. It's not going to work out. Spirit is saying, continue to move forward with this emperor, this high level soulmate that you met, that you've met, that's going to make you happy. Because if you stay with this masculine, if you're going to go back, this is what you're going to be in. This, this masculine is financially cursed. They don't want to do the work. They don't want to, 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 to grow in advance. They don't want to become a divine masculine. They're hurt and they're in their they're they're heartbroken and they're stuck because they wanted to become like a professional football uh, not football a professional baseball player they wanted to 
be this king of pentacles. They wanted to be rich. This this masculine needs some type of therapy. They need some type of help because it's, it's, it's not going to work. And spirit is saying that you need to continue to move forward. Communicate with your children. See your grandchildren. But I keep hearing Bob, Bill, whoever this is, it's not going to work. They're, and if they don't stop doing heavy drugs... Or go get them some type of help because you could have done drugs with this person in the past. I feel like you're focused on trying to be a better mom, a better grandma to to your ch your adult children. And I feel like you may have failed because you may have been on drugs with this masculine years ago. I'm here. You could have met this masculine in the 70s because I'm seeing I'm hearing that song. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. I was wrong and everything about you. Baby, come back. Yeah, yeah, this masculine, yeah, this masculine is in very much deep regret. And you keep being strong, sister. Keep being strong. Don't go back. Look, empress to emperor, God has sent you a high-level soulmate. You fix the relationship with you and your children, your adult children, and you be a better grandmother to your grandchildren. Don't beat yourself up. Whoever I'm talking to, Elizabeth, Sarah, Jessica, I don't know who I'm talking to, you be a better grandmother to your grandchildren. Don't. Don't beat yourself up. It's okay. You made a mistake. As women, we make mistakes like that all the time. You know, when you're young, you you, you be so in love and, you know, hey, you don't have nobody to tell you or whatever. Look, we all make mistakes, no, no matter what color you are. And don't, if you're somebody that's black and you got offended by what I said, I don't, it don't matter what color you are, but, um, just just keep your head up move forward and this guy is gonna have to get some help all right my name is the comatic medium prophetess if you like this video please like subscribe and share if you would like to donate to my channel my cash app is in the description box and thank you and goodbye like subscribe and share bye